Yo, peep the style and the kids checking for it. The number one question is how could you ignore it? We drop right back in the cut over basement tracks with rap stack. Got you backing this up like rewind that. We're just rolling with the rhythm. Rise from the ashes of stylistic division. With these non stop lyrics of life living. Not to be forgotten, but still unforgiven. But in the meantime, there are those who want to talk this and that. So I suppose that it gets to a point where feelings gotta get hurt and get dirty with the people spreading the dirt of gold. It's a waste of time, I hate my rhyme, hate everyone else's more I'm riding on the back of this pressure, guessing that it's better I can't keep myself together, because all of this stress gave me something to ride on My pain gave me something I could set my sights on You never forget the blood, sweat, and tears The uphill struggle over years, the fear and trash talking And the people it was to, and the people that started it just like you And if that were not bad enough each one of these six corporations gets their news from only one of two sources, the Reuters or the Associated Press. These two organizations serve as an international news pool and channel all information down to their networks. Only Reuters actually owns the Associated Press and Reuters itself is wholly owned by the Rothschilds. This is why there is never any negative press about the World Bank or the international banking cartels reported to the people by the mainstream media. It is why the majority of people have no idea about Codex Alimentarius or the real effects of Pluron, and simply do not know how the world and its corrupt money system is really run. We're developing a society because of all of these different toxins known to affect brain function. We're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. In other words, a dumbing down, a chemical dumbing down of society. So everyone's sort of mediocre. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. We have these people of lower IQ who are totally dependent. Then we have this mass of people who are going to believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly. And very few people of very high IQ who have good cognitive function who can figure this all out. And that's what they want. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together as to why they are so insistent in spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars of propaganda money to dumb down society.